Now we can look at medium concentration oxygen masks, which provide another option for the delivery of low flow oxygen therapy. These may be used for concentrations higher than those that can be achieved with nasal cannula or when the nares are unavailable. These masks are available in adult and paediatric sizes. The arrows demonstrate the manner in which gases are inhaled and exhaled by the patient. The red arrows represent the oxygen delivered to the mask. The orange arrows represent ambient air which is drawn in through the mask vents as the patient inhales and the blue arrows represent exhalation. Oxygen concentration is affected by the selected oxygen flow rate and by the patient's tidal volume and breathing pattern. One end of the oxygen tube is attached to the spigot on the mask and the other to the oxygen flow meter. The flow meter is set to give the prescribed oxygen concentration. The mask is then fitted over the patient's nose and mouth and the elastic tightened to give a secure and comfortable fit. The elastic historically has been secured over the years. However, new generation intersurgical Ecolite oxygen masks can also be secured under the ears to avoid the occurrence of pressure sores. It is important to use a mask which obtains a good seal on the patient's nose to prevent oxygen entering the eyes. A poorly fitting mask can expose the eye to a high flow of dry oxygen which can result in exposure keratopathy which then may lead to corneal perforation. Caution must be taken when using these masks to ensure that the flow is at least 5 litres per minute to wash carbon dioxide out of the mask and prevent rebreathing. Aspiration of vomitus is also more likely when a mask is in place. Now we can look at medium concentration oxygen masks, which provide another option for the delivery of low flow oxygen therapy. These may be used for concentrations higher than those that can be achieved with nasal cannula or when the nares are unavailable. These masks are available in adult and paediatric sizes. The arrows demonstrate the manner in which gases